This takes place in the late 70s, early 80s, and you are part of a team of investigators on a task force that have been assigned to track down and arrest the Wallingford Five. The Wallingford Five is a band of thieves that have been embarking on a crime spree through New England, which involved bank robberies, bank burglaries, jewelry store heists, uh, jewelry store break-ins, and uh, your assignment is to locate their hideout and identify the members. Who are the Wallingford Five? Over the course of the last several years, law enforcement authorities have been baffled by a string of high-profile robberies and daring after-hours burglaries across the region. Only recently, after a multi-agency conference made up of federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies, was it decided the same group is likely responsible for this brazen crime spree. Due to conflicting witness testimony and scant physical evidence, the dots have never been connected until now. Based upon new information, authorities now believe this quintet of crime has gotten away with hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and jewelry over the years. On two different occasions, stolen vehicles connected to the crimes have been recovered in Wallingford, Connecticut. A stolen MAC-10, described as a machine gun pistol, was recovered in the trunk of one of the stolen cars. With both stolen cars recovered in Wallingford and the lack of any substantial investigative leads, Investigators working these cases have dubbed the elusive criminal, criminal enterprise the Wallingford Five. Several months ago, a special task force was assembled for the sole purpose of working this case. Sources say the task force is under considerable pressure to get results, as there has been little progress due to date. And no one has yet identified or arrested for any of the crimes committed. While no one on the task force would comment, they are obviously frustrated with the scarcity of leads and their lack of progress.